Hey, good morning, everyone. Trackman44 here. You know, every now and then, you know, when you got a truck and a trailer and you mess with old tractors, you end up doing a, a favor for a buddy. A buddy of mine called me and said, hey, he's got this um, WD-45 he just picked up and needs to try to get it uh, hauled to his place. So that's what we're doing. We're getting down here, dragging it out and uh, you know, try to get it backwards on my trailer. Well, that was pretty easy. pretty easy to go ahead and pull it up here. We got it halfway decently lined up behind the trailer. So now it's all... Uh, all about hooking up the winch and go ahead and pushing the trigger. Well, I got my buddy on the tractor. This is uh, this is his. I'm hauling home for him, and uh, he's steering it right up the ramps. We'll go ahead and uh, put it right. This is kind of a heavy old tractor. It's got fluid in the in the rears, of course, and uh, I can tell by the way it's squatting down the back of my trailer. It's got a little bit of weight to it. I gotta let the winch rest just for a second. As soon as it breaks off of that ramp there. Hey guys i gotta make a correction now that we got it up here and i know now i did not pay attention to my buddy when he asked me to haul it for him this is a a, a d15 it is not a wd-45 down in the weeds i didn't really take that close of a look at it so i stand corrected again i can't stress enough the uh the benefits to having a remote controlled winch controller It actually charges this battery whenever you're hooked on to the, um, to the winch, whenever you use it in the connected mode, and it charges up its onboard battery uh, while you're using it, which is really pretty cool. And then it also uses a micro USB port, I believe, to, uh, to charge it on a standard cell phone charger. Yeah, I almost forgot that uh, that center ramp there for that manure bucket to, uh, to slide up on. Normally I carry that third ramp for a tricycle tractor. It's a good thing I had it on the trailer. That's a bonus John Deere footage for all you green tractor fans. Back to the business at hand. You might need to cut that wheel to the left a little bit. It's wanting to run off this side. That's about where I want it. On the surface, it's a pretty good looking D15, but um, my buddy tells me that the uh, the motor stuck, you know, from just setting. Uh, he had probably been setting a pretty good while, a little bit longer than what the gentleman seemed to recollect, but uh, it had no big deal. Uh, we'll get her freed up and he'll have him a nice little tractor. Okay, guys, we're loaded, we're bound down. Uh, everything's safe and secure. Got multiple attachment points like we're supposed to. The hardest thing, however, was getting the, uh, the fluid filled 16928s uh, one of them's a standard rim and one's a uh, spin out. The hardest part is getting them fluid filled things onto this trailer. Now I'm telling you, we had to had to struggle just a little bit and ended up using a winch. Well, as luck would have it, uh, it started raining pretty good on the way home. I'm actually getting just a little bit wet right here right now anyway. So instead of dropping this off at of my buddy's house, I'm just gonna leave it on a trailer over here at my shop uh, for a couple of days till it dries up a little bit where we can get in over there and, and run it off. So. Uh, I'm going to see what I can do to maybe trade him out of it, you know. This is Trackman Party 4, and I'm out of here, guys.